kidneys are the largest joints in our bodies. They're central to almost everything we do. So if you or a loved one is suffering from arthritis or an injury to the knee, the resulting pain, stiffness, and swelling can feel debilitating. But you're not alone. Arthritis is our nation's leading cause of disability, affecting the lives of 54 million people in the United States. Treatment of knee pain depends on the location and severity of the arthritis. There are three components of the knee, the inside or medial compartment, the outside or lateral compartment, and the kneecap, also known as the patellofemoral compartment or patella. If all three compartments of the knee are diseased, a total knee replacement may be recommended by a doctor. However, if someone is diagnosed with early to mid-stage arthritis, where only one or two compartments are diseased, a partial knee replacement may be recommended by a doctor. Partial knee replacement allows surgeons to replace only the arthritic compartment of the knee, which may help minimize trauma to the healthy bone, tissue, and ligaments that surround the knee. Today, this surgical technique is being combined with a new technology, and it's changing the way knee pain sufferers receive care. Meet Mako, a robotic arm-assisted technology used by surgeons to perform partial knee replacements. This unique technology helps surgeons provide patients with a personalized surgical experience, where each surgical plan is based on the patient's specific diagnosis and anatomy. In a clinical study, patients who had a Mako partial knee procedure experienced less pain in the days and weeks following their surgery than those who had a non-robotic assisted procedure. And a Mako partial knee procedure helps provide more accurate placement of the implant, which may result in improved outcomes and functioning of the knee. In a clinical study, nine out of 10 patients were walking without an aid, such as a cane or walker, three weeks after surgery. At six weeks, more than 85% returned to work. And five years after surgery, 91% of patients were either very satisfied or satisfied with their needs. Let's take a look at how the technology works. It begins with a CT scan of the knee joint. A CT scan is a series of x-rays taken at different angles that can help surgeons see things that they can't typically see with an x-ray alone. The CT scan data is used to generate a 3D virtual model of the patient's unique anatomy. This virtual model is loaded into the Mako system software and is used to create the personalized preoperative plan. Prior to surgery, the surgeon reviews the plan size and placement of the implant. If necessary, the surgeon modifies the preoperative plan. During surgery, the surgeon locates points on the knee in order to register the anatomy in the Mako system. This process establishes the relationship between the patient's actual anatomy in the operating room and the 3D model that was used during the planning process. This step helps ensure the procedure is executed to plan. Once the anatomy is registered to the 3D model, the surgeon has the flexibility to modify the preoperative plan based on their assessment of the patient's anatomy and range of motion. Then the surgeon guides the robotic arm to remove the arthritic bone and cartilage from the knee. A virtual boundary provides tactile resistance to prevent the surgeon from removing more than just the arthritic bone identified in the preoperative plan. And visual cues shown in green appear on screen to show how much bone to remove. Collectively, these cues help the surgeon stay on the preoperative surgical plan. With the diseased bone gone, a partial knee implant is inserted into the joint space. And once the surgeon is comfortable with the knee's movement, it's off to the recovery room to begin the journey towards strengthening the knee joint.